you guys are here. There you go. I'm good. Chilling. Yeah, we here, baby. We out with YouTube BC going on. Awards. I like. Are you kidding me? You gotta go get you. Are you you on my team? Who you with? All you want to do is have a way belt on the Who are you with? You swine. Who are you with? Executive at Def Jam and Interscope for 24 years of music business. And I want to tell you I respect you for keeping it real with you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, brother. Real. Appreciate that, man. Real, man. You gotta give it to him, Raw. Big stuff, uh, no. you know. You gonna put that on me? Yeah, you yep. busy, man. You, the, you know, you the, you the god of this. Oh, please. Legend. So Legend. Please. Well, I'm happy yeah. we're here together. Today. Yes. Absolutely. How's the How's the weekend been? It's been pretty good. You good. Know, can't got complain. A, got a big game today. 
Oh, it's today. I thought the game was yesterday. Oh, the today. game today. Oh, so there's competition going on here. Yeah, it's a big competition. Because I feel a weird energy happening. It's yeah, like, you know. I got, I, got, I, got, I got some good. <laughs> I'm banking on my players to come through for me today. <laughs> Ain't too much I could do. And it, everybody's like put here to do something specific. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you guys just really lean into the purpose of mm -hmm. their experiences and mm -hmm. what life has taught you and all that. I can only imagine, too, what you get back from that. You know, um, it's like the get back is real. It's, it, it's, it's, real, it's right? a blessing, you know, because um, when you have people that walk up to you and say you help them in so many different ways mm -hmm. and you never met them, they live thousands of miles, different countries. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a, it's a good feeling to know that you add value to the world. Whereas though we grew up taking, taking away from our communities, you know, yeah. robbing, stealing, doing whatever, selling drugs. And for us to be able to change our life and be able to embrace being older black men, you know, that's, you know, everybody want to be so young. We love being like he, yeah. he 57 uh, this month. Here, man. You know I mean, I'm 40, I'm 45. <laughs> like he love, you know what I mean? Like his, you know, his feet, his Yo, feet, his feet getting tender. You know yeah, what I mean? Go, right. He got his I'm little rocking chair in the corner of the right. studio. <laughs> he drinking his 40s. You it's know what I mean? Amazing you're here. Yeah, see, 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 up, it's crazy. That's yeah, wild. He's lying. Tough, he's lying. I keep telling you, he, he's lying. He's making yeah. it up. So we've been asking a lot of people some of the specific IRL questions, and and one of them is uh, like in real life, what are you proud of most about yourself? That me? You, yeah, your life that you've done. I think with me, I didn't care about a lot. I don't like like you know. Um, I was a little disappointed when success came, mm. and the reason I was disappointed because I thought some growing up in the ghetto, I thought some magic was going to happen when you got all these millions of dollars in the bank, you got all the cars, and, and I was like, when is, when is this gonna happen? I'm like, this magical thing. Mm -hmm. And then I realized none of that was important. The most important thing was my grandma seeing me win in life. Um, when I was in jail, I used to tell Nanny all the time, she'd be like, when you come home, I would tell her next year, next year. I would never tell her because I wouldn't feel it. And she would always say like, well listen baby, I ain't gonna be here when you get back, but you're gonna be all right. So for me to get out of jail, and for her to see me execute on the level that I execute, I had to be like, boy, I never, you know, I thought he was going, I was, you know, and then even me coming home, because cousin tell you, you know, dudes come home from jail, dudes talk a bunch of jail, talk, oh, I'm going to be this and that, and the most scariest day is the day you come out of jail, because now you got to perform on all the yeah. stuff you said you is, but you've never been challenged to see if you is who you t said you is. Yeah. So for her to, for me to come out, for her to see Oof, me execute. That's a bar for anybody, not just no, coming no. out of jail. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who says they want to be something. Yeah, not, not just be something. You, something. If you my sister, I'm calling home, sis, I ain't with the homies. I ain't going back to the block. I got to be that dude. I'm going to get a job. So now, yeah. the day that I walk out, that's the most scariest day in jail because now, you my sister, you my brother, you're going to be like. What you said was. And now, I've never been challenged to see if I'm really this person I said I became in jail. Mm -hmm. Now, the temptation is there. So, you know, you get out and Nanny like, Nanny seeing me and seeing me, to, seeing me execute on this level because the only time Nanny see me is when the police coming looking for me or they calling, I'm calling from jail. So for her to see me on this level, it was like anything. Hey, was she, there like a moment that you said that she was like, oh. She didn't know what I was doing. So I'm living in my grandma's middle room when I come home out of jail. I'm 37 after 20 years. Yeah. And uh, I'm leaving out every morning because I, I didn't, like, like I didn't, and Gil, like, I'd be calling him 4 o'clock. And he's like, yo, why the f*** are you calling me 4 in the morning? I said, I'm outside. He's like, why are you outside, cuz? I said, because I'm on jail time. So I'm waking up like I'm going to work in the kitchen. So I'm leaving the crib, but I'm not going to be waking up in my grandma's crib and, 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 and she waking up after me in the house. I got to get the f*** out of here. Yeah. That's my mom. So she think I'm on some back in the day. Like he out there getting busy. Yeah. So it was for a while she didn't know. So a girlfriend called one time and was like, Wally on the paper. So she called me, what, what the hell you done now? She don't know what I'm doing on social media because she played a flip phone. She don't play that technology. <laughs> I, think, I think Gil got yeah, like an iPad. Gil got like an iPad or some sh <laughs> She don't play that sh right? <laughs> Cause she'd be like, I don't know what all that new shit. Yeah. So her girlfriend called this and said, Why are you on the paper? She said, Call me. What the hell you done done? I thought you was changing. I said, Nanny, what you talking about? So she was like, They got you on the paper. They looking for you. I said, I'm shit. I'm like, Who the fuck looking for me? The pro man? I don't know. You know what I mean? So, so by the time I get to the crib, she got a paper. She like, Why you don't tell me what you been doing, boy? I thought you was out there getting busy again. That's why I ain't say nothing to you, cause you know you. You know what I mean? I just wait for the call. And she was just so proud. Just And, and then she started realizing, mm -hmm. as you know, my you know my uh, my little niece started showing her, look, this, and then people started asking about it. And then she was like, oh, shit. 
know, she'll be 90 September 30th. God bless. Yeah, she, she's a real deal. What do you hope that people learn from you, from the two of your, from your lives? I hope that people, people learn that um, teamwork make the dream work. You know, every win that we get, every win that he get, I'm happy for. Every win that I get, he happy for. Like, you know, I don't, I don't even know how to go against him. Like, we got teams going against, but I'm be hoping that he get MVP today. Mm-hmm. Even though, you know, what I'm saying like this, is my, this is my blood cousin. I ain't, I, we don't know how to go against each other. We don't know how to not celebrate each other victories, because it's like, um, and, and that's what we be trying to educate people about. Like, everybody trying to figure this shit out and do it by themselves, and it's like, nah, dog. You gotta find somebody. That's going to be your hype, man. You know, in a game of life, if we get on the court and he's scoring 50, 40, I'm going to go grab the towel, his water. Come on, cuz, you kill him. I'm not going to be there trying to figure out. No, because that might not be my area of concentration. My joint might be the hype man and the water boy. And I think people don't understand that. And that's the dynamic that we bring to the game. Like, we ain't competing with each other. We eating with each other on no level. We not with the dumb shit. If I'm wrong, he going to check me. If he wrong... I'm going to check him, and we're going to just go with it. And ain't going to be no resentment. ain't going to be no, ah. It's going to be like, what? You're right, cuz. Because one of our greatest moments was something. I was going through something, and he, he, we was on a plane leaving L.A., and he checked the shit out of me about something. I sat there. I got up off that plane, and I went on a mission. Mission. Because I'm talking about, man, the money just went, you know, it was just a lot. Because I, I was, like, sidetracked for a moment about some shit, but it wasn't no, uh, you know, it wasn't no, Talk afterwards. It wasn't no, uh, uh, um, it wasn't no resentment or none of that. A lot of people can't stand to be checked. Yeah. The resentment, that's the birth of the resentment when somebody tell them, no, you out of pocket, you doing, motherfucker walk away and they don't know how to deal with that. They don't know how to say, you know what, I needed that. Like, that you woke me thank, up. Thank you. I needed that shit. And that's what we got. Yeah. And then we try to show people that. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. We do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Listen, man, you see what's going on? We yes. got Detroit Finest. Listen. This dude right here is a top flight Detroit player. Sometimes he might be the mayor. He right here, a million dollars worth of game. BT Awards 2024. Culture, biggest night. We got T Grizzly here. Listen, man. T Grizzly. Yes, sir. You got the LV shit on, right? You got this shit on, iced out. The gaming god. The gaming yeah. god. He is killing that shit. He, he yeah, killing. How, you doing, how you doing over there in the game game? Doing great. Doing great. Yeah. You changed the game. You know what's so crazy? A guy is doing something, something similar to you. Mm-hmm. And he telling me how he doing and he said, and for real, for real, man, with Team Misery, he going this shit on a whole level. 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 He just yeah. did this shit like four days ago. Yeah. That's crazy. Right man. Music, man. That's crazy, man. You remember last time I talked to you, I told yeah. y'all, it's like, it's been growing and growing ever since. No, the first time you, t- you don't understand. When we came to L.A., we did that interview here, and you broke that shit down, uh-huh. you birthed so many street hustlers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like it's a lot of street hustlers that's hustling gaming now no, for like sure. you changed the whole game because people's like hold up he making what <laughs> people's in the comments and people yeah. we see in the streets like yeah. he really making that money low yeah. i said he making it because he built his own program he really you really went head first into that game mm-hmm. so so how's it but it seems like it's getting bigger yeah it's getting bigger for sure it's getting i'm talking about it's yeah. getting super bigger man we, you know <laughs> All right, anytime yeah. a nigga do this, it's going down. So, yeah. so, so, so how is it? How's the music going up? The music because, going because great. That, because you're getting so much money over here. Yeah. No, the music going great. The music's still going great, man. Because you, 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 you keep doing uh, great albums, keep putting out projects. Mm-hmm. When is the next project coming out? The next project is in the works right now. I want to say I'm like 80 percent done. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like 80 percent complete. I just got to do it. Another robbery because now they already asked. Yeah, they the love robberies. One. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, the, how do you stay creative though, bro? Man, I just seen a lot. Yeah, 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 you did. You feel me? You got All type of shit. Uh, I'm yeah. like, I'm like y'all. Like, yeah, I ain't gotta go like, back. I go back in the vault. Go back in the vault. In the vault. Yeah. All right, let's put that down. in there. You uh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. How, how do you feel about Detroit, man? It's so many people making a bag from Detroit. It's so mm-hmm. many artists. How do you feel? So first of all. I appreciate everything that y'all have been doing for the city. Y'all been I going love Detroit. For Detroit. We man. love Detroit. I ain't gonna lie, y'all I'm been y'all been stepping in Detroit. We coming, we coming yeah. for us. A uh, skiller baby got something on the sixth. On his birthday, it's July sixth. We coming out there. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be there. That shit. I'm gonna be there for sure. Uh, but, you know um, what I mean? Go definitely, I, I feel great. You know what I'm saying? The space that the city in right now. And you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'll be telling guys like, man, it's on us right now. We gotta. We gotta I, I tell y'all that all the time. I'm like, listen, every city get their time limit. And it tick out and it, and, it, and, it, and it cut and then y'all like, mm-hmm. and now it's another city. It'll be Milwaukee. It'll be somewhere where you least expect it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because who would have thought Detroit 
especially on the rap style that y'all, you know, M, M did his thing, salute to M, Royce Ray Bike. Yep. But it was like, that street all came and turned this shit up mm -hmm. on another level. No, for sure, for sure. So any, any big features coming? You and, Blue, you and Pluto went crazy too. Man, Pluto, um, some big features, man. I got some, I got some amazing features in the works, man. Oh, I got some amazing features in the works. Let me see. I got my phone. I'm gonna show you. I, I want to keep it a surprise for the right. people. Yeah, show me, show me this. This is exclusive. I'm gonna show you already. Right. I think I know what you got. Me too. The man from the man from the man. I, I go. I was thinking the same him. thing. What's y'all was thinking? I was thinking. I ain't gonna say from a different country. No, he from he from America. Oh, I, I don't know, man. I can't put that together. Oh yeah, that's what. Oh yeah, that's major. Oh, oh, yeah, yo, my God. It took you that long to notice? I was looking at you. I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even looking, I'm looking at you. Yeah, yeah. That, you went somewhere else. I didn't think you was going to go yeah, there. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I can't wait. I can't wait to get at the yard. But, but you know what? I love so many people mess with you, man. I love how you really tapped in with the whole culture and everybody that's moving around. They really f with you, man. Yeah. And that lets you let people know you're just a good dude. You're solid. You're about your business. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I wish your yeah, aunt was here to see this shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The first time I interviewed you, damn, you, damn. Backstage at that show. That, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Her and Rock on. Yep. PNB Rock, that's your man. Yep. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, rest in peace to PNB Rock. For sure. That, that, y'all y'all, y'all, y'all got real brotherhood, man. No, for sure. Honest, well, I mean, yeah, I too, no, man. So I appreciate that. I mean, if she was here to see this, she would probably be like, because his aunt is the he one that just, believe yeah, she mm -hmm. believed him. He was broke. He was broke. Mm -hmm. Buying him the gear. Up. Yeah, man, go ahead, man. Go get you some sneaks, man. Them sneaks a little rough, cuz. Uh, yeah. Go get you some. Because <laughs> 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 the homies wasn't doing nothing. No, for he sure. He said, the homie, he tell him I'm trying to do his rap. They're like, man, get out of here. Go smash and grab. Go do some no, that's shit. That's a fact. That's I mean, a fact. they'd have had him on the dummy. He'd have been back <laughs> down Kentucky, some way, Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> but, uh, man, just keep doing your thing, man. It's a blessing you here, man. We always going to fuck. You always got a home here. You always stop with us, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. My brother. Yeah. Philly is in the building. C T S. Yes, Listen, man. Me. It's been a long time coming, yeah, man. Um, this 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 journey is crazy, man. The way this all took out. Gil pulling up only one day. They in the projects, Fifth Street. He just started going crazy. Ah, 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 ah. Internet. Next thing you know, he signed. Uh Barrel Line, y'all doing y'all thing. How it feel, she? You doing, you know, I was it's at like your show. Come true. Yeah. Man, I'm seeing a whole other side of life, bro. I'm really from the projects. Like, I see yeah. nothing. And now I'm going to different cities and doing all this extra shit. It's really crazy, bro. How do it feel like leaving the city? Like, because would you ever trapped in your mind, like, this all it is? Or this all I know? No. That was the craziest part, bro. Before I even had any of the experience, like, I always just knew it was more just by watching movies and stuff like that. Like, I was always, I was always into, like, watching travel vlogs and yeah. dumb shit like that. Yeah. Like, just seeing people do extra shit. You get what I'm yeah. saying? So when um, was telling me like, yeah, this this is most likely what's gonna happen for you, bro. Like, you need to go to this school or you're not gonna be able to da 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 da. I told niggas like, this is my life. You get what I'm saying? All you gotta do is really put that work in and just chase whatever you believe in, bro. And it's up to you what successful is. And that's what people forget. It's like, you think that having a chain and a watch and all that shit is the, bro, he wanted that. What me, What do you want? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas don't be asking themselves them type of questions though. You got the ladies feeling the music. You mm -hmm. making the songs for the ladies. How did you stay focused on that and not go on some hard, like, street shit, knowing we come from that type of environment? Bro, really? Getting advice and just using my own experiences. Like, everybody got experience with women, but don't be wanting to talk about it for some reason. So when once I learned that don't like you, women do, oh, it was up. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, bro, that's it crazy. was up, bro. Yeah. Like, that's, that's all I care about. Right. There's nothing else to it. All yeah. I'm gonna do is keep rapping my real. Right. Regardless, the street gonna come up that's gonna come up but we know where the bag at when you go in the studio how do you what is your motivation like like what is what is on your mind to go into the game like when you going into there like yo i'm gonna do some shit different than what i did before is it right. a beat that set it off or is it some shit you was thinking about is it the vibe is it is it the area it's, what for, is it? it's the beat and the emotions like love is world was a freestyle like all them jones be off top it just be the fact that like like i was really in the studio probably like three in the morning on some shit, just thinking about her and i'm like because i ain't talked to her since like i got money I'm just like, all right. But I didn't call her. That's why I just made it something. I should call you and try to make, make it, it work. work. Exactly, bro. And that shit just ran. But what made you think of it, though? Bro, because I'm really, I'm living now, bro. And that's, we used to just always talk Did about that shit. Like, he's no. not about the movie. He said, no, he said, it ain't yeah. make it work, though. He forgot about that hot mouth. We started thinking he's about like, that yeah, hot mouth vicious. in the studio. <laughs> I should call you and try to make <laughs> it work. <laughs>
No, but a lot so, of people be feeling like that, though. No, you yeah, know, that's the most relatable one. From a Whipping the camera out on the prize. You in the BNC world, bro. It's right? real. You know, that changed my life. It's real. For real, bro. I mean. It gave me my first, like, perspective of how fast this could go if I keep working. Right. That's what, even for the, after that shit, bro, I had, I still had 11K for a year and a half. Like, I was losing followers, but I kept dropping the same consistency yeah. because I knew, just because off of that little taste, like yeah. gambling, yeah. I knew that if I keep going at this shit, yeah. it's going to smack eventually. Yeah, and but that's really crazy did. how you went from there to there overnight, though. Bro, no, it wasn't like, even it wasn't even overnight. That shit was in five hours. Yeah. I walked to the Chinese store. Yeah. You dropped the video. I had eleven hundred followers by nine o'clock that night. So like I had eleven point five k. Yeah. For real, bro. That shit was instant. Like the the That's reach up, of it man. was outrageous. That's what's up, man. It's going down million dollars worth of game right here. BET Awards 2024. Yes. Listen, yes. man. Coach's biggest night is going down. We got the one and only Phillies only. Right. Friday. Yeah. When you first Damn seen him, he was in his mom's crib need a somewhere. More time. Yeah. Now you need a little more time with you. Yeah. Don't you feel yeah, but you like stand song by me? Use a song, but you. Oh, won't you stand? Won't you stand by me? Song, I just need a little more time. Yeah, I, I know that. Song, yeah, I know that. It's going down million dollars yes. every game, 2024. Yes, sir. Listen, it's going down. We got the one and only Sauce Walker from yes. Move Talker. It's yes. going down. I mean, Texas, I'm talking about Texas finest, man. I mean, we talk about 17 cars, Walker. For no reason. Yes, sir. We talk about, I seen this motherfucker take a Rolls Royce, rip anything out of it, stand on top of it, run around, and we call it a Rolls Royce, man. Yeah, it's the kid that did, man. Not the kid that didn't. The reason why the sauce <laughs> word was written, the flavor that saved you. The master, the pastor that made the bread come faster okay. from here to Alaska and left with a disaster. It's the kid, man, on sauce. What you, yeah. what you working on right now, seeing you and Peasy doing something? Uh, yeah, me and Peasy working on the tour right now together. We putting together. Me and we got an album that we working on right now. We putting together. We just had a concert last night, uh, sold out in Los Angeles. Um, I just dropped my new album, Sauce Father 2. Came out uh, June 28th, super duper great album. Got a lot of great features on it. Something different for my fans, because you know, they used to me either half ass taking the rap series or rapping with all the features like being my friends and a few other artists that I'm cool with. But like, this time I'm trying to really like do some industry stuff like for my artists, I mean for my fans. The industry respecting you more. Yes. Yeah, they, are, they, are. they see this in the game, they see you ain't no hair today going no. tomorrow. I'm no, I'ma be here, bitch. I'ma be here right in your face, right cutting, in face. Bitch. every day. Yeah, you, yeah, you see, let me in or get rolled over, because I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I still I've stood the test of time and that's why I really love and appreciate you guys for like helping the world see and understand that Gilly I always stand up to date with all my moves and what I yes. do. All my posts, you too, you too. Yeah, I'm on. Like Gilly, but I always see Gilly. anytime yeah, I do something good or do yeah. something right, yeah. Gilly on it, like let me know, like, hell yeah, keep going, don't Kill you stop. Keep going. Uh, yeah. I see you. Like, so yeah. that's like having Stephen A. Smith saying you putting up good points on, you know what I'm saying, the game. So I really be And you came through and lost your mind last year at Gilly Fest. Shut it down. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. was on the Raptors and shit. I'm like, how the f you get up with it? When you are blessed and fortunate to be in a position of power from your work ethic or from your talent and you reach success, uh, your story and your trials and tribulations, that's like, that's the that's the the outer shell of your book of your novel that the whole world want to buy, and then the pages in it is what made you stronger. So it's like when I see people such as Wallow yourself who have been from the streets, we take losses, we take sacrifices, we go through things in life, but then we we reach the end of the tunnel where a lot of people stop digging. It's like that meme you see when they digging, yeah. and right behind that wall is diamonds, yeah. and this one dude got tired and quit, and we kept digging. Then you also have those people that dig through and find the diamonds, but then they turn all the lights off, put the diamonds in the bag, and run off to the sunset, and they don't show other people the way or tell yeah. other people that it's possible. And that's why people like y'all are so important to me, so important to the industry, so important to the youth, that y'all are willing to share y'all knowledge, y'all are willing to share motivational speeches, get out your care, even though, like how y'all said with me, I have a character, I got, I, ha I have a, 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 way of, a, a way of being on camera that's different than people used to seeing on a day-to-day -day basis, but that attention that 
that ability to create an audience and grab attention and have a wild shock factor. Like when you dancing in the rain, running in the rain, we got people's eyes open and their yep. ears open. They're watching. Once the eyes see, the ears hear, the heart feels. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So we able to do things and tell things to people that make them feel it and they reciprocate it and they start using it in their life. And I feel like people like us that have knowledge and power, if we all using our, our positions to take one step at a time, at the end, the entire world will change or the entire cognitive thinking of, of us as black people or successful people, brown people that's in this industry, we will have so having a real money and a real power the real opportunities that we don't have because everybody will be woke everybody will know what to do right now a lot of people still just sleep and they just think oh rapper or oh podcast or just yeah i could just gonna go get up and just do no. what everybody else doing without the knowledge of what are you doing it for what like million dollars worth of game is not just saying oh it's a bunch of millionaires coming up here just talking and we black we celebrities talk. no you could come up here and tell the truth, learn the truth, and dissect the truth, and find out what's lies, what's not lies, and what is wrong about myself that I might see by you speaking to me, but through me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a lot of artists that y'all had on y'all platform that y'all gave them examples of. Y'all told them, be mindful of this, be aware of that, don't do this. So I went through this. I used to, I watch y'all all the time. Yeah. I, we, we used to rob, we used to do this, we used to do this, but then we also knew okay, this has a ceiling. We never robbed nobody and left out with a million dollars. We only left out with a couple thousand, some yeah. shoes, whatever. So it was never a life-changing event. But the risk that we took would have been life-changing if it would have went wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like it's not enough people who are successful and rich or that have respect from the from the eyes of the public and telling them it's the other side of the table. Yeah, it's the good, it's, it's the shining, it's the balling, it's the money, it's the women, but it's also the jail, it's also the death, it's also the loss of wages, lawyer fees, not seeing your children. Who wants to see their child grow up and call someone else dad? Absolutely. So, you know, y'all play a very important position. I play a very important position as an artist and more artists and more people with platforms need to understand our position and, you know, use it suitable. Who team? Uh, she on your team? Yeah, she on his team, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who, wait, who team I'm on? Oh, I got to look at the list. Whoever team I'm If you on the other team, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do her so she already, she already got you on the picture. I'm going to do her dirty. I'm going to do her dirty. Go back Thursday. She made. Too so, many you did, out so you did. Out. So you did too, see? Dirty. It's too many cameras out here. She trying to embarrass me. Wait, she killed you. She killed you. <laughs> she killed you. It's a rap. You can't say nothing. All right, I got you. You can't even say nothing. Yeah. I see the little chick. You can't even say that. <laughs> that is Flaugé, though. Uh, that ain't like you, some regular uh, shit. Right, right, Put right. the pat down on you. So, man, she laid you up in anything, man. Shut up, Tootsie. Ain't nobody worrying about you. Back in the day when I was a trainer, right? Um, I had in one of my, she was one of my students in my camp. Um, I'm responsible for a lot of the moves that she do. A lot of the things she do, you know. Uh, you no, know, back then, dude, when I was teaching you your first move, how to use your left hand, right. what were you thinking at that time? It was just a little different for me, you know what I'm saying, because I, I had never trained on my left like that. So, you know what I'm saying, you really got me right, got my left real strong. Tell, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. Just a lot know. of people don't give me my credit for the training like I trained him. Even though he ain't stepped your level, he went to like a, a neighborhood college. Uh -huh. You know how you got real universities and you got like a small little joint that's like a half a block long? He went to one of the neighborhood colleges. And I mean, he go, he gonna tell you all this other stuff, but I don't, I don't know. You never went to no, no, straight up. He never got no D one letters. He you never got D one no, letters. He's no, looking, he he's looking crazy. He's what D one like letters he got? He got he, you know what? He got D one joints from like Miami, Ohio. It wasn't that wasn't no serious D one. D one D one. No, it's not. That's, Come on, only Miami we know is, is in Florida. That's D one D one. No, it's nah. The big O. Nah, I'm talking about the big yeah. schools. That's not. Like he hate. My bad. My, my bad. bad. My bad. My bad. He be I was unfamiliar that's with not, your game. That's not the. He be hating. No, he, that's one college. Rest of was community colleges. <laughs> he get offers from community colleges. High schools want him to come back. It wasn't they like. Want no, the high school. Yeah, high come? school. Come on, man. We need you to play in a high school reunion game. We got a. We got a league. Come on and play. So you can't like. He's not with you. you. you just said high just, school wanted you to come back. Yeah, he wasn't like. He gonna tell you about all this. Extraordinary stuff this and that third, you know what I mean? Man, don't play that no mind. Listen. But listen, you, you got, got everything going listen, on. Listen, you got that music. What's up with that music? The music, man. Music. 
I just dropped my project. You know, the, the feature with Wayne is going crazy. Everybody going crazy about that. Track four, big four, no, track, track four, four, Lil Wayne. Came, came out of out Beast. Of Beast feature Lil Wayne. Came out of Beast. Uh, Got Italy Chopper on that thing, Too uh, Rare on that thing. You know what's so smart about this? You know what? You know what's so smart about this album, right? You, you, you tapped into the attention span, gave them nine songs. That's it. That's all you yeah, need. Calm yeah. down. Because because people be all over the place. I think it's so digestible. Nine is a, like, yes. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, I want some more. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I already had like four of the songs rolling out already. So it was really like five. They like, but they going back and listening. So it's dope, man. It's going crazy. So when y'all in that locker room, y'all getting ready for a game. Y'all, y'all in there banging flaws, you Oh yeah, we that big folk business all day, huh? all, all day. day, all day. That's how I get turned. That's what I gotta listen to. But I'm saying it's the whole locker room. The whole locker room. We got yeah. a crazy sound system. When y'all yeah. come, I gotta show y'all. We got like a million dollar. Let me locker ask you a room. question. Crazy. Right now, your girlfriend. She looked like to me like she's rookie of the year. Rookie of the year, no yes. doubt about it. I'm just saying. No doubt about I it. I think she she broke a, a WNBA record with like she about eight to break back it. to backs or something like she, double double. She about to break Candace Parker record. Mm. Mm. Legit. That's uh, talk heavy. Straight like that. How it make you feel? I mean, it make me feel. I witnessed it, right? And then I witnessed her being in the NCAA tournament. And then I witnessed everybody saying how she wasn't going to make that transition to the WNBA and how she wasn't going to dominate. She dominating. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't say nothing about nine double double. As a rookie. What can you, who, who? As a rookie. On, on everybody though. Yeah. Stewie on the greats on Asia on everybody so she she doing her thing I'm proud like I used to see it every day though so I know like I see it every day for two years straight. But she a feisty she's a, too. She's a dog. She talks. Hey, at tip off though. She get crazy. At can't tip off. Fuck That's she, how I used to. She play. don't even she care. The camera's mind. looking or nothing. No, it's camera up. be better than bitch. Bitch. That's that B more. Who you talking shit. to? That's a joint. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot up out, oh. I'm like, she don't give a fuck. Y'all got to cry out of these glasses. She oh don't give a Look at this little son, nigga. Look at you, you just get over there. You ain't playing today, you boys. Yo, nigga said you got a hand do though. Everything. No, nigga said you got a hand do though. No, 42 got a little bit to that. Yeah, no, listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. Could you, I, listen, I think, could you cuff him for me over here? I need him cuffed. Take him down to LA County, man. Get him out of here, man. You always try to get somebody locked up and shit. Get him up out of here, man. He's a nut, man. Hey, man, you guys make me laugh. Nice love, my brother. Y'all do your thing tonight. Nice love, my brother. Hey, that's, 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 that's about security, too. He be dying for a call. You, you know martial arts? You know the arts? Look at him. You know the martial arts? A little bit. Who was your sensei? <laughs> you, you ain't no true boy. You ain't no true boy. See? That's how I, I called your bluff. Yeah, I mean, I know my sensei. Enter the dragon, brother. He tells really me I know dragon. something. He's about enter the dragon. No, that's a boy. That shit gets you shot. That's the end of the dragon. What's up, dog? That's my team. Everybody know that. We won. You hate it. Don't hit it. Hey, cuz, he over here hating on us because we what's won. Up, hey, what's up, bro? My team won. Why he hating on us? He, what's wait, up, Jack? I ain't arguing with you. I'm a Celtics fan. I ain't here with Lakers. They win. We won. I'm a Celtics fan last week. We won, baby. We won. He's a piece of shit. I love y'all. What y'all doing? Let me ask y'all a question. Can the police out here smoke weed? Like when they off of work? You don't know. Can cops smoke weed when they off of work? They can't. But what they what the cap they gonna say, cap this shit legal, dog. Like it's legal for everybody but me. You know I mean both of them are my nigga. But this is my nigga. So who you picking though? Oh. Number one overall. Start the start the uh, start the franchise. Sean Jackson with Sean McCoy, you starting the franchise. Oh, okay, was rolling. Oh Shady finna be hot. No, bro. yeah, ain't I mean, that, that, that's kind of hard because both of them was game breakers. It's not like even one of them was sweet. It's not even nothing about it. I'm taking the, the deep threat receiver first. I'll get another one in the back. But, but uh, honestly, in order for Jack to be successful, in order for LaShawn to be successful, they both got to need a line. I don't give a fuck who you is. You ain't got no line. You ain't getting no reception. But you know, you know, you know where I Shady up every time we had this debate? Because this would be a serious debate. I don't know if you ever seen me. Yeah, I've seen it. Back and forth. Yeah. 
he wouldn't have had that oh, box like that, bro. When, when you got a D-Jack on the you outside, right. you're right. not getting no stack box. You're you right. right. You, 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 right. There, you, you got, got a, a point there. The you got a point there. What you going to do? You, you got a point there. Hey, you got a point there. So, he got a point so he there, did Shady. What he did half his career with a D Jack and wide receiver and a Jeremy Mack. I ain't just gonna even say me by myself. I had Jay Mack on the side was a dog too. Uh -huh. So a lot of that shit was doing. I'm gonna I'm salute him. He he he's one of the. That coaches. was a human joystick you know, though. He was the coldest running back I ever played with. That stop you know, and go was nah, ridiculous. He, he was the coldest running back I ever played with. But again, he had he had you to open that field up. A nigga can't argue that though. Team, we ain't gotta worry about it. You cool. You see me out here? I'm ready to get 50 out this jump. I'm ready to get 50. Y'all better be like AI, man. <laughs> that, you see that? Sh
do the walk. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. Go ahead. Thank you, bro. I'm going to hold it for a minute. I got you in there though. Got you know I love you. Oh, my favorite. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah, look a let me get one by yourself. Look, oh, let me get one by yourself. What's that? That baby got in that trophy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that shit, <laughs> mom. Huh? You got that shit, mom. I'll be watching you all on stage. He hold you. You know. <laughs> 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 Wallow, come here real fast. Who the old head though you be holding up and he be That's my pop. That's your pop. He said, who the old head? <laughs> I, I didn't know that was his pop. I don't even know mama. You man of a pop. Hey, bro. Pops be quiet though. Bro, say shit. Yeah. I genuinely appreciate y'all, bro. Appreciate that, man. For real. What anything y'all do, cuz, like, for real. 100%. For real. Appreciate you, bro. We appreciate you. Remember that talk we always had? Yeah, that talking. That, and, that, and that's one of the things why I said that, that talk you said with me, uh, we was well, in uh, big, three? big three. Big three. Big three. Walking the down the hallway. Yeah, we told like, you. Y'all was like, bro, you that, bro. You, you got to do you. Land on your own. Ooh, ooh. This really helped me that day, for real. You got to snap out, because sometimes, like you'll always say, before you get to where you're trying to go to, you don't be thinking too much. Then as soon as you start getting there, you start getting in your head, this and all the I'm on shit. Yeah. I'm on my yeah. your bills. Yeah. When you was getting in the game, all you needed was some studio time. Yeah. yeah. I got studio time. It's all. I'm yeah. cool. I'm just fine. Get money and make sure you get complicated. And I'm going to do shit. What you gonna be, bro? You got money. You got a bunch of yeah. you get your up whenever you want. Yeah. You, what you going through? You got the best jewelry. You got the best cars. What you going through? I thought that rapping was. Oh, I had a bad day today. I'm about to go in the studio and rap about that. Rap about my mama. Yeah. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. 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 I'm about to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
drunk as hell. You <laughs> drunk as hell. <laughs> That's memories that y'all never gonna forget. No. Yeah. That's some shit 10, 20 years from now, y'all gonna be laughing. You wanna hear your stuff? Fuck up, man. Love you, man. Love you too, bro. Yeah, yeah.